gods be praised that um, Lord or your mother is here. This is a year and few months of a former king, your father, Igbo Doka, died. Since then, we have been living without a king. What is your plan to take your father's position as the next in line? Um, I know we have spoken well as a very good elder of this kingdom. You see, um, I've been thinking of what you've just said. My mind is there. But there's some things I need to sort out first before I mount the throne of Anima Kingdom. Which is? I know we know that as years goes by, Things changes. Things are not the way it used to be when my forefathers and my late father were ruling the kingdom. Okay? I need to upgrade myself. My forefather and my father, Igwe Udoka, were illiterate. Then I wouldn't want to be like them. I would want to make a change. What I mean by saying that is that I would want to go to school and become a graduate. Probably get a job, make some money before I mount the throne of my kingdom. I don't want to be an illiterate just like my forefathers and my late father. So I would want to go to school and get more exposed before I rule this kingdom. Well, um, no, no. You heard yourself. What do you have to say? So, if I may ask, because I'm confused, if I heard you well, you said you want to go to the university and become a graduate before you can be crowned as the king of this kingdom. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If I may ask you again, where do you think you can get money to achieve that? Because going to the university in this country today is not a small thing. Mama, no. We are poor. We don't have money. Mama, I know we are poor. We don't have money. We are not rich here. Yeah. But I still believe that there are some families that we are better than. And their children still go to university. Yes. The main thing is for me to enter university. I don't know how it's going to happen. I'm not certain. But I believe in my heart that God will see me through. That mm. is it. Uh, please, Bouzé. Uh, Beyond your dream to get Western education, I will also want you to understand the risk and danger of leaving this throne vacant until up to four to five years waiting for your graduation. Someone need to mount the throne to handle the affairs of this kingdom along my kingdom. Oh no, you're right. But before then, I am going to tell you and the cabinet members on what to do. Um, Chief, yeah. you're welcome. Mm. Mm. To what do I or do we owe this visit? Mm. Because I know you. <laughs> you never came around when the Igor died, my father. So well, I'm wondering why you're here now. Uh, well, I express my apologies. Uh, when the Igwe died, I was far away in America oh. on the medical checkup. 
Oje Tondo. So I actually express my condolence. Okay. And don't you think that we express my condolence just like that? Uh, express my condolence. Goodness. <laughs> That's too much. Thank you so much, Chief. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Chief Igogo, thank you so much. May the gods of our land bless you. The same. Okay. <laughs> um, Rosier, I came around so we can uh, discuss something very, very important as it affects the kingdom. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, when I came yesterday, I met some elders. I was told you're planning to go to the university to become a graduate. You understand? And I was very happy. Yeah. 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 For you to say, okay, I want to be a graduate before I mount the throne for Roma Kingdom shows that your future is great. Your future yeah. is bright. Right. Yes. And um, I have come to make this easier. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, let me show you something. Well, this is. 30 million naira. Yes. Wow. Yes, as uh, the king of this great kingdom, I don't want you to go through the university struggling, looking for what to eat, looking for what to do or whatever. Okay. okay. So I decided to like put this money together to make this easier for you. Yes, so you can buy whatever you want to buy we, we take 30 million is a huge amount of money. Yeah, it is. Yes. Um, but I want to let you know that while you are away, the Loma Kingdom should not be left just like that. The seat of the king must not be left empty without someone sitting there. It mustn't be left desolate. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And I, I am in that position to do that while you are studying. And when you come back, you have what belongs to you. What? Chiefy Koku. Do you realize what you've just said now? That my son should... I'm away. I'm, 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 I'm the one in question here. Let me handle it, okay? I'm chief. What you're trying to say is that I should hand the throne of Aloma Kingdom to you. I should hand it over to you. And when I'm done with school and come back to this kingdom, that you are ready to hand it over to me as the rightful owner. And you seem it's as easy as that. Why shouldn't it be easy? Is it mine? It's never my throne. I'm only just staying in for you. And so when you come back and you're ready to return back to the throne, it's all yours. Gozi, what are you trying to do? Mama, it's okay. It's okay. We're talking about 30 million naira here. Are you going to sponsor my education? Or don't you know what 30 million naira can do for me? It can go a long way. But, Chief, what I'm trying to say now is this. I've heard what you said, but I'll try to call the members of the cabinet to come around and we sit and hold a meeting. Then I can do exactly what you said before them. But before that, I am going to keep the money. The money is yours. I'm in agreement with what you have said concerning meeting with the elders to discuss, to have a judge on the issue. Yeah. Um, I want to assure you that when this comes true, more money. More money. <laughs> okay. Yes. I've, I've heard you. I've heard you. I would love to do all that before the elders in okay. cancer. Yes. I've heard you. It's right. okay. So what time are we looking at? When should I get a feedback from you? Um, you hear from me tomorrow. 
tomorrow. Yeah, that's in two days. Okay? It's alright. I'll be leaving now. No, no. Yeah, busy. Take care of yourself, alright? No, we don't want to. <laughs> Uh, really can't hear. What do you think you do? Um, let you go here. Wait, wait, let me understand you. You mean Chief Ikoku was here yesterday and said all this? He was here. He mentioned the amount, 30 million naira, hey. and showed me the thing in cash inside a bag. 30 million naira? Yes. I nearly fainted hey. when I saw the money. So, uh, what did you tell him? Um, I told him that I'm going to sleep over it and get back to him. Him, uh, Kwadrama. Hey, Kwadrama, Omaka. Now that you have slept over it. What is in your mind? Because 30 million naira is a big yes. money. It's not uh, uh, the kind of money one can easily reject. Eh? Because it will go a long way in someone's life. Eh? Uh, it's a question of uh, 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 four or five years. Eh? You, you demand for your children back. Eh? Uh, uh, After oh. all, uh, 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 what do you get in being the You are still a small boy. What do you be, get in uh, being the uh, well, So what you're saying now is that I should go ahead and accept the offer. Exactly. Exactly. After your forefathers and your your, your father uh, 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 let Igwe Udoga, they ruled this country for many years. What did that achieve? Nothing. Eh? Collect the money because it will, it, will, it, has a, it will go a long way in your life. Eh? Sure, is it because of the money you said that my forefathers ruled this country or this kingdom? You I mean this kingdom. Uh, they ruled this kingdom. But... but they did not achieve anything because they don't have the money. So I should, yeah. I should accept the offer. That is what you're saying. If you ask me, accept it. Okay, I will do it. as you said. But I would want you to call all the cabinet members because I, I would love to hand this throne over to him in front of everyone. Aye. In the Aye. presence of everyone. Aye. 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 Praise God, yeah. <laughs> and this is why you bring the 30 million naira. At least I will see. <laughs> I will do that. <laughs> um, Chifikoku, that boy was proving so stubborn. But I was able to convince him to accept the offer. Oh. Mm. Really? Yeah. So he's ready to abdicate the seat for me. Huh? I mean, uh, the throne is mine now. Don't you trust me? Eh? I did my job well, but <laughs> remember your promise of making me a know of this kingdom. Oh. Agreement is agreement, though. I know why I'm saying this. Now. Agreement is agreement. <laughs> Have you heard of anyone within the community that says I have disappointed him or her? Or somebody calls me. Uh, no, <laughs> I have integrity. Well, I have not heard of that in this village. But in the city, I'm not living there with you. Because this time around, you cannot trust anybody. That's why I'm reminding you of our agreement. Agreement is agreement. You will make me do know of this community, of this kingdom. Okay, family like that. It's a case here. Relax your mind. Okay. Agreement is agreement. And I will not disappoint you. Okay. But uh, if you could, I have one question to ask you. And this question is very, very, very important. Yes, okay. What if that boy Chico is here? After four or five years, he demand for his student back. Will you give it to him? Oh, what kind of question is that? I know why I'm asking. Will you give the tool back to him? 
you mean after becoming a king for three, four, five years, I will not go back as a common man? Okay. That's not possible. At the worst level, I will demand for my money knowing that he will not be able to provide it. What are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. That means I will be be the no for the rest of my life. Definitely. Ah. Chivigoku. Huh? Chivigoku. Huh? Chivigoku. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. Even can you? Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, I am happy because I'm happy. You know, I'm no, I just wanted to because you've done some good job. Uh, yes. Hold this. Okay. This is for me. Yes. I think I'm okay. <laughs> it don't matter that I have more than this. You know, my son is a rich man and I'm also rich. So this thing is just nothing. I will manage it. Just for you to have a uh, uh, No name. problem. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, oh my God. Well. <laughs> My elders, you're welcome. You. I greet you all. I call this urgent meeting for a very important information. Um, I just want to tell you all that I will be going away for some time for the betterment of this kingdom. You know, I do not want to mount the throne of Anioma Kingdom as an illiterate, just like my forefather and the late Igwe, my father. You all know they, they were all illiterates. So I want to go back to school. I want to go to the university and become a graduate. Make money. Get exposed before I mount the throne of Aloma Kingdom. Okay, let me not bore you with uh, my excuses of going back to school. The most important thing why I call you here is that Chief Ikoku here wants to buy the throne of Aloma Kingdom. We discussed that he is going to buy it over and become the Igwe while I'm away from this kingdom. Oh my God. And we concluded that once I'm done with university and come back, that he is going to hand the throne back to me. And the Chie Chikeze supported him. He brought the sum of 30 million naira. 30 million. To buy the throne of Anima Kingdom. Uh, um, um, wait a minute, uh, Prince uh, Gozier. Are you saying that the uh, chief uh, Ikoku here offered you the sum of 30 million naira to do what? Over the throne of Aloma? You heard him right. <laughs> Are you deaf? That's exactly what he said. Hey! Um, the chamber, you heard uh, the prince. Does anyone have anything to say? Um, well, um, there is no need for too much talk in this issue. Uh, let the Prince Gozi tell us his mind concerning this issue. Then we, the elders, we will know how to comment. Wherever you stand is where I stand. Thank you. Please go here. Tell us what, what you have in mind. This is the bag of money, 30 million naira, that Ichie Ikoku brought so I can hand over the, 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 the throne of our Loma kingdom to him. But I've slept over it and then um, I've come to a conclusion that he might not do 
as he said. So I've decided and concluded that Ono here is going to be acting as the Igwe of Aloma Kingdom huh? till I'm back to this kingdom. Huh? Why me? And so shall it be. Well, why me, Prince? Why me? Ono, Ono, Ono. So, Chief Ikoku, here is your money. I don't need it. Wait, 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 wait. Let me understand something here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Stop this, your pretendious whatever. Stop this nonsense. This your nonsense. So, this has been your plan all this while? It was my decision. It's not in honor with me. But both of you planned it together. This is ah, what's all this? this I am talking and you are talking. You just keep this talking and you are talking. Ah, oh, chief, will be your chief, plan. Chief, uh, chief, 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 wait for me. I'm coming. Don't go with that money. I'm coming. So this will be your plan. Yeah, because yeah, let me tell you the implication of what you did in case if you don't know. Asking no, no, we here to be the boy of this kingdom yeah. means that he should be marrying your uh, your mother. Hey, hey. What? Can what? I I your mother up and down. What's yeah? your Stop. No, no, I like you know. Watch your tongue. Watch your tongue. I like you don't know. I said you should watch your tongue, Chikezi. Shut up and stop saying that. shut up. Yes. Mwa, shut up. What is wrong with you? What man here? Man here? Yeah, go see. Why do you like poverty? Chivinko offered you 30 million naira. 30 million naira. Don't turn yourself to a traditional to fear. Don't worry. Please, let's talk. You want to be the way. Okay, get you. Okay. Where is Indeka? Uh, she should be inside. Call her own sister. Nay. This one that you want to see, Indeka. I hope there's no problem. What kind of question is that? Must there be a problem before I talk to my daughter? Uh, no, Nai. I don't mean it that way. Please, I'm sorry. Neka! Neka! Your father wants to see you. Come out here. Your father was saying, Sit down. When are you going back to school? Papa, tomorrow. All the things you told me you needed in school, have you bought them? Papa, no. Um, I wanted to ask you yesterday for some money to buy the things, but you went out very early and came back late. So I said I'll wait till morning to tell you, not until Mama told me you wanted to see me. Neka, yes, you are my only daughter. I want you to feel free. Whatever you need to graduate, always feel free to ask me. Okay, Papa. I made up my mind to sponsor your university education because I want you to be an important person in this society. Okay. You need to go and make the list. Let me know how much is involved. But you have to make me a promise that you graduate in that school as a first class student. Uh -uh. Papa, Papa, don't you trust me? Don't you trust your brilliant daughter? Of course, I will make you proud. I will make you very proud of me. <laughs> I believe you, my dear. You better do. You better do. Because if you disappoint me, you will not like my action. Because I will skin you alive. Not only that, I will disown you. Hey. Nay. Take it easy now. The threat is too much. Do you want her to run away out of fear? You keep quiet. Look keep quiet. Do you know how much I'm spending on her? I have to let her know because who much is given, much is expected. So she wouldn't mess up. Nay, I understand you're spending too much on her. But well, that's not enough reason for you to be threatening her like that. Eh? Mama, see, don't worry. Just leave, Papa. Don't worry. See, by the time I'm done with school, 
when I graduate. Hey, hey. When Papa see me, he will be so proud of me. Okay, I'm so so proud. Papa, I don't believe worry. You. Okay. Hey. Uh, well, I pray. That's all I pray. That's all I wish for. Okay. Papa, don't worry. Just uh, calm down. Go and make the list and bring it. Let me know how much. Papa, I've done that already. Okay, bring the list. Let, Let me look at it. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm doing it's my responsibility. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Yes, Is it? You look worried. Mamaya, uh, why wouldn't I be worried? Why wouldn't I be worried? Had I known I wouldn't have entered university at all. Mama, it's so hard. School is so hard. Eh? There's a lot I need to sort out. And there's no money for it. Where do I get money to sort things I need to sort out in school? Eh? I'm just in the middle of nowhere. Jebe jebe adema, naba naba adema. What do I do? But being in this mood will not help it. You should have shared it with me, sis, so that we rub minds together and know what to do. What do I do now? What do I do now? I don't want to be a school dropout. Maybe I will look for somewhere or somebody to borrow money from. A letter I pay back. Ah, Mama, don't go there. No, 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 no. Don't even say it. Not because I, I, I needed money for something. I will listen that the Queen of Aloma Kingdom will start going out and start begging or uh, asking people for money because I want to go to school. No, I, I'm, not, I'm not in support of it at all. Then what do we do? What's your plan? Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh. Okay, 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 Mama. I think I have to call Chief Ikoku mm -hmm. to bring back that 30 million naira. Yes. Maybe I'll ask him to come and take over the throne of Aloma Kingdom. And, and give me the 30 million naira, so I'll go back to school. If he, even if I tell him to pay 50 million naira, he will pay because he's so desperate. She goes, say, shut up. Mama, he's so desperate. I said you should shut up. You are more desperate now. You are more desperate than him. What are you saying? Eh? What will people say when they hear that you sold out the inheritance of this family just because of school fees? Eh? Something Mama. your father could not do, not even your forefathers. Mama, what people think or what people will say does not matter this time around. Okay? Doesn't matter this time around. I don't care. In some situations, you don't have to care what people will say or what people will think. Mama, 30 million naira is involved. I need to go back to school. This man is so desperate to become the ego of this. I mean, let him be the ego and I'll go to school and do what I want. I said, no. Capital, no. We will not do it. Let's look for another way out. What are you saying? Mama, what I'm saying is, let me know my something. Mama, I just want to Prince, I don't understand. What do you need Chief Ikoku's number? Um, oh no, please. I need that number. Okay? I need I need to sort out some things. Are you giving me the number or not? This has not answered my question. Let it not be what I'm thinking. Oh no, right now I don't want to know what you're thinking. I don't even know what you're thinking. What I want is Chief Ikoku's number. In a name. I will not give you his number until you tell me the reason behind this. 
I'm not comfortable with your help. Okay, Ono, oh since you want to know, I will tell you. Ono, oh I need money from Chifikoku. Like 50 million naira. To, and, and he will take over the throne of Fabi. Hey! Uh, he's desperate to be the king now. So let, let me sell it and use money and do something very Stop nice. that! Stop it! This is an abomination in Aloma's kingdom. What you have just said now is a sacrilege. Do you want to die? You want to sell the throne for 50 million? Ha! Now let me tell you, just in case you don't know. But you and Chief Ikoku will not live to see the next day if you try this. Oh no, on a camera, I'm dying of hunger and I'm holding the throne. I need the money to sort out things. Jail school, many things. Do you want to die? You want to die and leave your poor mother behind? After all the promises I made to your father, I will not live to see this happen. Just how much do you need? Hmm? How much do you need? Minded. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> you can't tell me nothing. I mean, you and I know that you're not fine. So what is it? Are you in my mind to know that I'm fine or I'm not fine? It's written all over you. You're not fine. I mean, you're sitting here all alone, no friends, and... You look absent-minded. Or, wait, did you have a problem with your girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> you don't have a girlfriend? A good-looking guy like you don't have a girlfriend in this school? Huh? Is that even possible? Just tell me the truth. What is the problem? I said, there's no problem. I'm here to study, not to do boyfriend and girlfriend. I'm, I'm here to, to learn. You know, you're making me confused. Okay, fine. You don't have a girlfriend. So what makes you happy? Reading my books. Be focused on what I'm here to do. So I can come out with flying colors and make my family proud. See, Paul, oh. I've got to be very, very honest with you. I don't like the way you treated your girlfriend, Nick. I don't like it. Eh? All because of that girl, that useless girl. Nika loves you. And she doesn't deserve to be hurt by someone like you. She doesn't deserve it at all. I don't understand. What's wrong with you? No, no, no. Wait till they bring these levels now. What do you mean you don't like the way I treated Neka? Or because of that girl? Who are you referring to as that girl? Look, they're all my girlfriends. I'm entitled to have as many girlfriends as I want. Alright? Besides, you should know that we don't keep one girlfriend. Yes, we spread our tentacles. We spread our eggs in different baskets. In case, if one fuck up, we switch to the next. Who they ready to cry for heartbreak? What is wrong with you? Huh? There is money, there is affluence, there is power. What do you want more? Guy, flex, carry any woman. In fact, if you don't get money, I will sponsor you. Carry any woman. So they follow one girlfriend, they run up and down. Look, Neka loves me, my guy. She has no option. Fine guy, a rich guy, you know, guy will get swag. 
She loves me. She will always come back to me, bro. Always. Don't forget that. Paul, did you just listen to yourself? I so mean, you're bragging. You're bragging with your parents' money now that you're a rich guy, you're this, you're that. So you know Nika loves you. You're taking advantage of that girl's love for you. You're milking the situation. You're treating her like trash. And you're here telling me you're rich because your parents have money. Right? So I've told you what I will tell you. She will get. Keep bragging about your parents' wealth. No problem. I've told you what I will tell you. So, Samson, all the while you've been jealous in me. Excuse me? What kind of jealous is that? Why would I be jealous of you? Are you paying my school fees? Are you are, are you even feeding me? No, what do they give me now? What are they gain from you? I don't understand. Just because I'm telling you the truth now, you're telling me I'm jealous. Right? Like this friendship remain telling me. You. Uh, uh, you you they follow me, Waka now. You you they gain women, you they gain power, you they gain, you know, association, you know. But you they mad. What did they worry you? No, tell me, if you're not jealous of me, then tell me, why would you say I am spending my parents' money? Don't you have parents? Why don't you go spend your own parents' money? If I'm not feeding you, I'm not doing any of these things, then why are you hanging out with me? That What's wrong with you? you? That parents don't touch me, but no wahala. What trying to say no wahala? Why would you be telling me that it's because I'm spending my parents' money? Yeah, 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 yeah. All because of Nika. Bro, calm down. See, I've told you, Nika will always come back. She cannot leave me. Just, you know, there are certain things you should be thinking about right now, like how to read and pass our tests. And you know, say now you're back, I do. I know you do. Mm. Now you go help me pass that test. Instead of you to be reading to pass the test for us, you they talk about Nika, carrying Nika for her. It's not nice now. Don't worry, Nika will come back to me. She can't leave me. Nika will come back. She to can't. You. Paul, have you thought of the fact that while you're waiting for this girl to come begging, to come crawling back to you as usual, she can actually move on with another guy? You never think of Eh, eh, eh. Allah, my je, God forbid. Nobody will try it in this campus. I mean, look at me now. Soft guy, money, cars. Bro, what else do they want? What else do women want? If not the soft life. Eh? And besides, even if she try her, nobody got one poop about you. Now, Poloski, they talk. I will frustrate them with Confra. I swear. I mean, how? Think about it now. Why would you leave a lion chasing rats? She won't dare it, bro. She won't dare it. I beg, enter Kamuk, we'll go find somewhere to eat. The sun too much. My follow you do it. My follow you go chop. Tomorrow when I go talk to you, they feed me. No be so. Anyways, my I tell you what I want to tell you. Money is not everything. And two, that your confront where you carry for head like this. Where your own madness ends. And then another person will start. Have that in mind. No problem. Okay. Oh okay, God, bouncing. Let's go and uh, look for something to eat. Make a make a make. Hmm. Well, since you said you don't have a girlfriend and what you need is money to solve your school problem, um, I'll help you. How do you do that? Because I don't even know what to do now. Right now, as I'm talking to you, I'm very confused. I don't even know how to get the money to do what I want to do. Yes, I said it's okay. Like I said, I will help you. Hmm? So why don't you get up? Let's look for any POS around so I can withdraw some money and give to you so you can use to solve the most important ones. I don't understand. You want to give me money. You don't even know me. I don't have to know you before I help you. I just want to help you. Okay? So get up and let's look for any POS around.
Ah, where were you last night? Where the hell were you? I was calling your number and you're not picking my calls. I mean, like, you see my calls, you don't pick them anymore. Where were you? Babe, I'm sorry, please. I, I you, you were what? You were digging out a placenta from where? That's why you're not picking my calls? Who is doing that nonsense with you? Babe, it's not what you think. I said I am sorry. Okay, let me explain, explain what happened. Explain what exactly? Explain what exactly? Have you lost your senses or what? Oh, because I stooped so low to be dealing with a chaff like you? Don't you see the women that flock around me in school? Are you better than them? Are you crazy? Have you forgotten the son of who I am? Or have you forgotten who I am in this school? Well, let me remind you. I am the son of the multi-billionaire, Chief Ezego PLC. Alright? You don't dare miss my calls! You don't! Rubbish! Guy, Samson, Moku, come off for here, beg. Let's get out of this place. Uh, Paul, please, please, let me drop my two cents on this. I do not like the way you're talking to Nika. Please, I don't like it. Honestly, it's not fair. It's not. Are you mad? I'm from Nisa Adirog in You're mad. You've, com you've completely gone mad. You go to hell, bro. If you don't like it, you fucking go to hell. Mangam, mangam. What do you do? You try it. Or got you to go to hell. Now I'm telling you the truth. And you're telling me to go to hell. How dare you? Are you insane? Do you think I'm naked that you can talk to anyhow? Eh? You think I'll be naked if they follow talk anyhow? Oga, allow this girl to talk and let her tell you why she wasn't able to pick your course. And I night. said I won't let her do that. Alright? I will not let her do that. What can buy her to Kaisi Abawa? Eh? You want to continue being a bitch? Get into the car, let's get the fuck out of here, bro. Please, I'm sorry now. Don't you dare touch me. Neka, I've had enough of your nonsense. Do not touch me. If you stay here, I will crush you. And trust me, I have money, I will bury the case. Your parents won't know a thing about it. Paul, I said I'm sorry now, my love. Baby, please. Get the hell out of this place! Get out! Let me see you call me and see. Call me, just one time. You see what I'll do to you. Neka, Neka, what, what's the issue? <laughs> I saw, I, 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 I saw Paul kicking and pushing you. What happened? What did you do to him this time? I didn't do anything. Just because he called me and he called me when I was sleepy, so I wasn't able to pick the call. And, and when I woke up, I tried calling him back, but my battery went off. Just that? Did you explain that to him? Was, exactly that. I was trying to explain, but he wouldn't even listen. He didn't let me explain myself. What sort of nonsense is that? What is even wrong with that guy, Seth? Why is he always acting as if he's the only student in this campus that is that came from a rich home? See, Nick, I told you before, quit this nonsense called relationship. What is it? Every time it's always embarrassing you. The whole campus <laughs> now is, is even aware of it. Tina. Tina, shut up! Shut up! What do you know about relationship? What do you know about love? My dear, don't worry, eh? You will go and apologize to him. He will forgive you. You know, you know Paul has anger issue. And you are at fault. So you go and apologize. Okay? Eh? Apollo what? Tina, shut up! Shut up! When, 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 when people that are in relationship are talking, you, you single person like this, yeah? Me, single. Sweetheart. You will definitely apologize. And you must apologize. He will forgive you. Okay? Make Please. a red flag, so let's keep going. Red flag. <laughs> See, that guy doesn't love you. You like it? Yeah. See, we should do this more often, you know. Okay. In this campus, once you're rolling with Paul the big guy, you have no problem. Yeah. And every other thing. 
I will always. What is going on? Who's this lady? How dare you? Neka, what makes you think you can walk into my house uninvited? Have you lost your senses? Uninvited, you say? I asked you a question. I said, who is this lady? And why is she sleeping close to you half naked? Hey, who is half naked? You mean me? It's okay, baby. Okay, um, Miss Neka, whatever your name is, this is Jovita, my sweetheart. I have asked you questions about it. Now get out. Why are you doing this? What have I done to deserve this? Oh, well, since we started dating, you are the first and only man that has seen my nakedness. You are the only man that has made love to me. But this is the third time. The third time I am seeing you with different girls. What did I do to deserve this? Why are you doing this to me, Paul? <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? What did I do to deserve this? Are you crazy? My name is Paul. The only son of the multi-billionaire in this country. What is wrong with you? I have the liberty of sleeping with as many women as I want. And you think you can stop me? No, you can't. What is there in seeing your nakedness by the way? What is wrong with you? And you're here showing me tears of... Just get the fuck out of my house. Get out! I know why you're doing all this. I know. Because you know that I love you so much. And because you know that I will stupidly come to you to apologize. Wait, do you think I love you because you're wealthy? Oh, you have really pushed me to the wall. You have humiliated and you've embarrassed me enough. I will tell you that my family doesn't eat sand. You can go to hell for all I care. It's over. I am done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut the door on your way out. You're done. I was done since 1990. Crazy. Neka, you mean Paul did this to you? No wonder I've been calling your line and you weren't speaking. I know something was wrong. God, it's because he knows I love him so much. It's because he knows that, that I can do anything for him. Gloria, you and I know how much I have sacrificed in this relationship. No. I have done everything just to please Paul. There is nothing I have not done. You know, Paul is the first and only man I have ever known in my life. Do you know that at times when we have problems and he's the one at fault, I even go to him to apologize just because I want peace to reign. Yet he's not satisfied. I don't know what else to do. That is why it's not good to love a man like that. It is not good at all because there is nothing you would do that can ever please a man. There is nothing you would do to please a man. Would you pray? We'll go together. I've decided to move on without Paul. I'm tired. I'm no longer going to beg him anymore. We both go there. And I will talk some sense into him. Okay? No, no. I don't want you to do that. I've decided to let Paul go. I don't want you to talk to him. I, I know it's because you're hot. Hmm? Okay, I'll go. I'll go. Personally, I'll go. I said no. Mika, you're hot. I don't want you to do that. I'm fine. I'm not crying again. <laughs> Sure. It was a mistake. I think it was a mistake. Just go there. Just, just. It's okay. I'm fine. Make her your words. Never stop this. 
Who is this Seneca girl? Why is she doing all this for me? Someone she doesn't know from anywhere. She just saw me in school for the first time and gave me money to solve my school problems and even promised to give me more. Can such things still be possible in this new generation? She's a nice girl, but what will I use to pay her back? Or should I? No, no. No, I have to take it easy and watch her closely to know where she's coming from. Gossie, how are you? I'm fine too. Um, where are you? In your house? Okay, I I want to come and see you. There is something very important I want us to discuss. No, 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 no. There's no problem at all. No problem. Okay. So just send me the address of your house and I'll be on my way. All right. Thank you. your house? Yes, this is my house. Okay. You, know, you sounded very urgent on the phone. I hope all is well. Yes, all is well. It's just that I have something very important to tell you. Oh, uh, okay. Do you want us to go inside or are you comfortable here? Uh, let's go in. Please sit. What do I offer you? I don't know the type of drink you take. Um, no, 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 no. I'm fine. You don't mm -hmm. need to bother yourself. And you can be fine. This is the first time you're coming to my house. In my village, we don't do like that. But I have something here. Please, manage this. Okay? Like my cutting, right? 
I I know you were surprised that I came to your house. Yes, I said this for you came to visit me. Surprisingly, I mean, must be very important thing that made it to come. Yes, it's very important. Cause he, I want to tell you something. Okay. Yes, I I have something to tell you before I tell you the reason why I'm here. Okay. I'm listening. There was a guy, there's this guy in our campus. His name is Paul. He's from a very wealthy home. He doesn't lack anything in life except manners. He was my boyfriend, or he had numerous girlfriends on campus. I tried talking to him to change his lifestyle, but he didn't listen to me. So a few weeks ago, I went to pay him a visit at his house. I met a different girl lying on his body half naked. And when I confronted him, he started insulting me and calling me all sorts of names. I, I felt really hurt, so I angrily left his place. But before I left, I told him that I was done with the relationship. And that was how I ended everything till date. I'm sorry about that. But I don't know why all these rich men children, you know, I don't know why they like living rough life, if I may ask. I don't know. I don't know. I always ask myself that question. I don't know. And the one that pains me the most is that he's the first and only man that has seen my nakedness to date. I'm so sorry about that. But, but why are you telling me all this? Do you want me to go talk to him for you? No, 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 no. I don't want you to do that. It's over between us and I don't even care whether he exists or not. I don't. Now let me tell you the reason I'm here. Because he, the first time I met you, I saw this humility and respect in you. Especially when you told me that you don't have a girlfriend. It made me see you as a responsible man. I want you in my life. I am ready to do anything for you. As long as you promise that you're not going to hurt me as Paul did. I love you. And I'm ready to date you. It's okay, yeah. I've, I've had you. And I just that I am not that kind of guy. I'm not just into women. I'm very focused on my work. So, babe, how did he go with the lecturer? Hmm. Did he give you carryover? Eh? Carryover? No. He didn't give me any carryover. You see, I don't know why people love to tarnish the image of that lecturer. If you see the way girls in this campus talk about this man, they say that before you can pass his course, it's either he sleeps with you or you must pay him a huge amount of money. Hmm. And this same lecturer, I went to his office today and he didn't mention anything like that. Wow. And I passed his course perfectly. Mm -hmm. Yes. You should trust your woman. You see, that's why it's not good to condemn and judge people like that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's bad. Neka. You know, it's, it's, it's just... Something. Um, hey, please, excuse me. Let me see my friend, yeah? I'll be back. It's okay. Hi, Samson. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Um, who is that guy? Oh, 
You mean Gozier? I don't know his name. Oh, his name is Gozier and he's my boyfriend. What? Mm -hmm. I about my friend Paul? Samson, are you the one asking this question? Have you forgotten how Paul treated me? Okay, did he even tell you what he did to me when I went to his house? No, he never told me anything of such. No, tell me, what happened? Go and ask him, he's your friend. And please, I'm keeping my boyfriend waiter. Excuse me. Babe, mm -hmm. sorry for keeping you waiter. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I heard everything. You did? Yes. Come on, let's leave here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want us to go? I get down for you. Samson, what exactly are you trying to make me understand? I don't get you. How do you mean you don't get me? And frankly speaking, since when did you turn deaf and dumb that you can't hear clearly? Since when? You're, you're, you're saying that my necker, my own necker, that you saw my own necker with another guy, doing what exactly? Sorry, I didn't bring you up to speed. Nika has a lot of relatives, cousins, all right? Uh, probably you saw one of her relatives, huh? Because that guy cannot be his boyfriend. Are you crazy? What do you mean? Nika is mine and mine alone. Do you understand me, Samson? Nika is solely mine. Do you understand? It's just a matter of time before she comes begging and you know it. So you just stop with all this nonsense, all right? Stop it already. Oh. oh, do you know you are a fool? What? I am telling you that I saw Neka with a man. That girl has moved on. I didn't just see her with a man. I saw her with a man that looks way more responsible than you are. Do you understand? I remember I warned you. I warned you. I said, handle this girl with care. Stop taking advantage of the fact that she loves you. But no, you said she will always come back begging. I body don't do you now. She has moved on. Enough. Enough. Please take me to a house. Me? Take you to a house? Like, you don't even know your way to break us out again. Um, Jovita! Get out, I want to go somewhere. My brother, don't get out of my car, I want to go somewhere! Are you mad? Don't shout at me, I'm already going down. Get the hell out! Get in now, let's go. You're not going with me? I warned you. Fools. What was the meaning of that? You are calling me fool? What do you want? You sent someone to call me. Let me call you back later. Get into the car. I want us to go somewhere. As what? Your slave or house girl? You're even commanding me with authority. You know what? I don't even know why I came out here in the first place. What do you want? Are you mad? No, I mean, are you stupid? Am I the one you're talking to like that? Hmm. Well, I forgive you. Get into the car. I want us to go somewhere and talk. And who are you, if I may ask? No, what? who are you? You're commanding me to get into the car. Let's go somewhere and talk about what? No, what do you want to talk about? If you have something to say, you say it. Else I'll leave this place. So it is true what Samson told me then. It depends on what he told you. 
that you've been flourishing around town with one useless guy like that. And when he confronted you, you told him he's your boyfriend. How dare you? Have you lost your senses? You are mad. You are mad to open your stinky mouth and call your fellow man useless. Besides, I don't owe you an explanation with whom I go out with or not. We are no longer together. I have my own life to live. So what he said is true then? It is true what he said? Yes. It's true. Mm -hmm. Now get out of this place. What? Why am I even stressing myself? If you like, you can stay here as long as you want. Neka, am I the one you're talking to like that? Neka! Yes. Neka! Yes. I swear to God, I will make sure you sink in this school. But you and that idiot, I will sink all of you, all of you. Oh no, you're welcome. Well, my prince, how is school? Ah, school? School is not easy as we thought. Ah, I see. Yes, it's very hard. You know, every... The country is too hard. You know, no one cares to give you. So, once you're in school, in the four walls of school, you're on your own. But anyway, that's not the case. I called you. I called you here to say thank you for all the things you've been doing since I've been away from this kingdom. My mother told me a lot of things you've done for this kingdom. And I really appreciate. You know, if not that the throne of Aloma Kingdom is, is unshiftable, I would have asked you to mount the throne. Oh, no, 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 Prince. <laughs> Do not say the unimaginable, please. Yes, I know it's not possible. I'm just insinuating. But well, all the same, thank you so much for all you've done. My son, to be candid with you, I am not only doing all this because of the love I have for you and the kingdom. I am also doing it because of the love I have for your late father, our Igwe Igwe Udoka. He was a good man and my bosom friend. By me looking at you, you are no different from your father. And I know one day when you mount the throne of your father, you will do more greater things than your father ever achieved. Exactly. Exactly. You know, thank you so much. Well, one more thing. The case between the Ibunekus family and um, Okoji's family will be coming up on the next uh, Afro Market Day. Oh. And your presence is badly needed. Um, I don't know, I don't think I'm needed there. Whatever you rule in that case stands. I trust your judgment. I trust it when you spill the truth. But I, I, as it pleases you, my prince. Thank you. Please, wait up. I've always told your mother not to worry about her son. Each time you are away from the school, she'll be telling me, yeah, I don't know what my son will be like. In that place, ah, going back to school, back to school is not easy. <laughs> My love, there was something you told me yesterday about your house rent. And I want us to discuss it. Okay. You see, today I spoke to you about this relationship. I made a promise to you that I will solve any of your problems in school until you graduate. Yeah. But there is something very important attached to it. Something important attached to it? What is it? When I was 18 years old, I made a promise to myself that the first man that would see my nakedness or make love to me would become my husband. And that I would sacrifice anything for him. Though I made my first mistake when I dated Paul, 
the beast. I did everything I could to save our relationship. But later, I found out that the more I tried, the more it get worse. Ever since then, I decided to forget anything about men. Until I met you, everything changed. I don't want to make a second mistake. I don't want to be hurt anymore. I just want to know what what do you have in mind towards me? What are your intentions? Because I am confused. Why is it that you didn't ask me this question before we started? Why not that we've done everything a boyfriend and a girlfriend could do? Honestly, I don't know. I, I really don't know. You know, when I met you and I asked you if you have a girlfriend, and you said no. I doubted you initially. I thought you were lying to me. But when I watched you closely, I realized that you were telling me the truth. And I lost control because men like you are rare. They're very hard to find. So now the whole thing is like this. What do you really want from me? I... I want us to... I want us to get married. Yes. I want us to get married after we graduate. Get a good job. Raise a beautiful family together. Look, I'm sorry I'm, I'm saying this first. I'm just... It's just how I feel. It's okay. It's okay. Don't bother yourself. I am going to sleep over it. I'm telling my mind later. Okay? Uh, it, it, it's, it's... It's my fault that I didn't tell you about myself. I... I didn't really tell you who I am because... I can't just open my mouth and tell you something that I cannot do because of who I am. Who you are? Are you married? No, 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 no. I am not married. Then not. what is it? What, what are you not telling me? My love, don't worry. When the time comes, I'm going to tell you my mind. I will tell you everything. She's a sorrow. Good person. And I think she can make a good wife. That thing he doesn't want to tell me to the day he tells me his mind. Let it not be that this guy is married and is hiding it from me. But what if he's married? I will just kill myself. I will kill myself if my if my suspicion is true. I love Kosi so much and I don't want to lose him. God, please, I do not want to make another mistake. Please. I think I have to pray about this. Yes. I have to really pray about this. 
the Lord. Thank you. So, babe, mm -hmm. I called you here based on the discussion we had the last time. I mean, some days ago. Okay, you know, I told you I was going to sleep over it, then tell you my mind. Yeah. So, I've, I've decided to talk to you about myself, about who I am. You know, you know, then I said I wasn't going to talk to you. And you have to give me some time, but I've concluded on what to do. Because if I had said anything to you then, based on my personality, it would affect me. Okay? But I've decided to open up to you. Neka. Yes, my love. I am a prince. I am a prince of my kingdom. And the king to be. What? Are you joking? I am not joking. That's why I'm here to go to school and acquire more education. My forefather and my father, King Kudoka, they did not go to school. So I said to myself that I must acquire more education before I mount the throne of my kingdom as the king. Wait, so you are telling me that you're a prince and the future king of your kingdom? Yes. And you are going to be the queen of my kingdom. Me? Yes. <laughs> the future queen? Yes. Do you know why? You're a good person. You have a good heart. So I've accepted to your request. What does that mean? I am going to marry you. Yes, you. Ah! <laughs> oh, my baby. <laughs> oh, baby, thank you so much. You're welcome, my queen. You just made me so happy. Hmm. Are you already calling me a queen? Yes, you are. <laughs> Babe, listen, I will always be here for you, always, don't ever doubt that. You're welcome. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, Neka, please, I am begging on behalf of my friend. Please forgive him and accept him back. He's a changed person, that I can assure you. I know you're a good girl. Um, never minding the fact that uh, my friend Paul took advantage of that. But I am begging you. You know, there's this saying that without sin, there will be no forgiveness. He has offended you. I plead that you forgive him and accept him back. Please. Samson, the only reason I'm here is because of you. Else, I wouldn't have come here. Let me save you this whole stress. Hmm? What you're asking is not possible. Because I am engaged. Yes. So you can tell Paul to go and find another girl. Or he could continue with those his numerous girlfriends. Because I am no longer available. Let me ask you. Something you don't have to say anything. If you don't mind, I want to go and meet my fiance. He has been calling my line. Uh, Onika, who is this guy you're engaged to? Oh, you want me to tell you? So you people go and kill him for Abba, me. Abba, no, no. Well, you are not like that. Bye. How 
Afa now. What, what, what? I saw her walking out. What did she say? Paul, I warned you. I warned you. Now she said she's engaged. What? He heard me. She's engaged to someone else. Hey, Paul, I begged you now. I, I told you to beg her on my behalf now. I, I, was, I was actually sorry. I'm and still I warned sorry. you earlier to treat that girl with key. I'm sorry, there's nothing else I can do. Hi! So, baby, you are saying that when you graduate from the university, you will automatically become the king of your kingdom. Mm -hmm. No, I'll not do that immediately. I would love to work first, make some money, before thinking of mounting the throne of my kingdom. Mm. So what about me? Mm? Of course, you automatically become the queen of Aloma Kingdom. I'll become the queen. Please, that means I will be the queen, the number one women citizen of your kingdom. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you deserve it because you're a nice person. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. I am going to ask you a question now, and a very sensitive question, and I would want you to answer me. Hmm. Okay? Yeah, about to go to so What's about your... That's your boyfriend, Paul. Have you seen him? Paul. Hmm. Mm. I don't have to see him. I mean, he's a close chapter. Yes. So he sent one of his friends yesterday to come see me. So apologize to me to forgive him. And what did you tell him? I told him that it's not possible. That I am engaged and no longer available. She leave me alone. Some guys are really funny. So after all he did to you, he still sent someone to come and beg you oh. on behalf of him. Babe, please don't stop talking about him, please. Let's go to the chapter and talk about something more interesting. As far as I'm concerned, Paul is bad news. I don't want to talk about him. It's okay. Yes. Uh, as long as you're safe from his sins. Eh? Yeah. Safe. He dare not try nonsense with me. He dare not try it. He thinks I'm scared of him. No, sir. No. <clears throat> no problem. Let's okay. be careful. Please, let's see something more interesting. So, tell me. Tell me about your kingdom. For instance, when I become the queen of your kingdom. In my you kingdom. How many ladies am I going to yeah. chickens and you're welcome once again. Thank you, no. Uh, actually, I came to see a very important issue. I hope all is well. Well, I don't know all will be well if you agree. Mm. All will be well if only I agree. I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> I will tell you. But before I tell you that, I would like to ask you one question. Well. Oh, no. Does it mean you don't like good things? You are more soggy, sir? Eh? You are more soggy? You are confusing me the more. Where are all these questions coming from? Oh no. Let me also ask you. For how long will you continue to serve that little boy, Gozier? Eh? Another little man like you, I don't know for that matter. Why can't you use this little opportunity he gave to you? I mount that throne. Eh? And become the go of Aloma Kingdom. See, I have even spoken with some of our elders, and all of them agreed. Eh? Wake up. Eh? All of them agreed to support you. Wake up, or no. Eh? Wake up. You don't make a bomb as Just be candid to me. Have you started visiting Mogodos Pan Wine Spot? Because it's only those who visit there speaks without their brain. Do you know the gravity of what you have just said? Uh, oh no, I am trying to help you become famous and important in the society. I what is wrong with that? I do not need that type of famous and being important. So you want me to deny this boy's inheritance by betraying him to become the king? 
The throne he peacefully handed over to me until he finished his education. You want me to dethrone him, Prince Chigozie? Ah, so you want me to die before my time. That has been your wish. I thought you were my friend. You see, this thing will not work. It will not work, including your, 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 your accolades. Those that are planning with you behind us. It will not work for you people. Now, let me ask you, since you were born in this community, have you ever heard that the kinship shifted from the family of Ikemba to another family? Well, I'll answer your question. Eh? I have not seen that. But how can we allow that little boy to mount the throne when we elders are here? Eh? And what does he know about tradition? Whether he knows anything about leadership or not, it's none of your business. Neither is it the business of those you have been conniving with to, that make you to come here. You, now get out of my compound before I lose it. Yeah. Now stand there and leave my house. Chicken said. Well, oh no, I'm not going to kiss anybody. Hmm? I'm not going to kiss anybody. But what I am trying to tell you now is that if you don't want it, if you don't need it, someone else. And I'll take this out of my house. I don't care if it is gold or silver. If no. you don't need this, someone else you need it. And I am watching that. Get your car. You have a car. I will go. No, no wonder. I, I said it. That you have started visiting more than wine church. That is why, after drinking that cup of palm wine, you will lose your senses. Next time you come here again, after drinking more of sky time, to talk to me anyhow, I will release my dogs against you. So you came to bribe me with a bottle of golden wine, with your messages based Gongoro, Omanle. Others are driving for matic and exotic cars. It is this motor that you have been killing people to buy from the quarry site, and you think you can bribe me with it. You are just lovely. I was thinking that this man came here for, for important thing. I didn't know he's here to, to, to disorganize my moves today. Nine, I overheard Shea Chikeze telling you about taking over the throne. Mm -hmm. What about it? Now, if you ask me, I suggest you should take over the throne. It's not a crime. Eh? Or is it a crime if you come the Igwe and need your wife? Your queen. But when you're a man and son, son. Wait a minute. So you are also in support for me to betray Prince Chigoze, dethrone him of the, his inheritance so that I'll become the king and you become the queen. Nah, yes, you deserve it. Eh? We have suffered enough for this community. Oh. I knew it! I knew that this is a calculated effort between you and the Chia Chikeze for me to go down to the drain and join my ancestors when it is not yet my time. So that when I die, two of you will now assemble, become husband and wife, him the king, you the queen. But this arithmetic formula is called zero in mathematics. It will not work. Uh -uh. No, why are you talking like this now? No, if you say any word right now, I am going to deck you and that will simply remind you the death of your birth. Now get out before I lose it. I'm not going anywhere now. Hey. Hey, this you're is my you're not going anywhere? Yes. This is your house? Yes. Very well then. This matter has not ended. I will assemble all my king's men. Let them investigate this matter properly. Because Chika has been advising me from the one I was planning to marry you. He has been making assumptions of your uku. He will tell me that this uku is equal to hypertension. Now I know that all these uh, remarks is for me to die. He will take over and both of you will start from where you stopped before I married you. Huh. You think I don't know that this has been your plan with Chika He connived with you. With other people, I'm yet to know. That will surface when the truth will come out. My brothers, wait, let me make call. No, I am not doing anything with Ichi Chikese. You are doing everything with Ichi Chikese. I'm not. This no. boss of eyes is not proper. Another woman. If you look at the shape of your head, if you finish another woman, 
And that is why Chikaze had the guts to come here to talk about dethroning this boy and you are supporting him. This is what we call conspiracy in English. And I know before conspiracy, there has been an in house meeting plan. Good year, they meet. No, it's a lie. I'm not doing anything. You have been doing everything with the Chikaze. It's a lie. Nah. That is why he had the guts to come here with the bottle. Uh, my fellow elders, you are all welcome. Thank you. Actually, uh, I sent for you all because uh, there are some issues very important I want us to sort out concerning the worship of this kingdom. That's why I sent for you. Wait, my elders, you check tickets here. If I may ask, why is Onuwu not in this meeting? I wonder, why? I wonder myself. He's supposed to be here. Um, you are right. Uh, Onuwu is at work this meeting. Uh, but when I called him this morning, he remind me. He said that uh, he has an appointment in our neighboring community. That we should go ahead. That whatever we decide. Uh, he will support us. Um, I don't agree with you there. Mba, mba. I don't agree with you. Because on my way to this meeting, I saw Onowu's daughter. And I asked her if Onowu was around. She said yes. Then Kizin gonna call here now I may travel. What, what are you saying? I don't understand you. It depends on what you understand by his, uh, her father is around. Huh? You asked the girl, you, saw, you said you saw the girl on your way to this meeting. Yes. You asked after Onowu. She said that he's around. Yes. Uh -huh. Look at our community. Look at our neighboring community. Is it not the same thing? So the Onowu is around. So you don't blame the girl if she says so. Anyway, let's keep that one answer. That is by the way. Uh -huh. eh? Eh? That is by the way. Now, let me tell you the reason I called for this meeting. Okay. I want to ask us. For how long or why must we allow or waiting for that small boy, Prince Chico, is here, to be crowned the equal of this great kingdom, Aloma? Mm -hmm. The boy is too small. What does he know about the leadership or tradition? Okay, let me keep that one aside. I went to Nehu a few days ago. And I asked him this same question I'm asking now. Okay. But he did not say anything. I also told him that he should use this little opportunity that small boy, Prince Gose, gave to him and demand the throne. Let him be the god of this, uh, this kingdom. He has been in this kingdom. He has served that palace for a long time. So if he is the god now, I don't see anything wrong with that. I even went to know and gave him this golden drink for him to accept or listen to what I am telling him. But to know who refused. Say that he cannot be big. He wants to be loyal to that small boy. Can I ask you, my fellow elders? That boy has four years to stay in the university. Are you telling me that Aloma Kingdom will stay for the next four years without an Igwe? It's an insult. Besides, that boy is too small to rule this kingdom. He's too small to be the ego of Aloma kingdom. He's too small to command us or tell us what to do. Wait, wait, wait. Let us be reasonable. Wait, 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 wait. 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 Speed. Chilo, chilo. I don't understand you. What point are you trying to make now? No. What exactly are you saying? Okay. No. Uh, it is, yeah. Uh, I am uh -huh. But I will tell you my point because I got the more for me. Yes. Mm, good. I'm interested. I want to be the ego of Aloma Kingdom. Yes, again. I said I am interested. I want to be the ego of Aloma Kingdom, and I want you to support me and grant me the ego of Aloma Kingdom, and I will make you all happy for the rest of your life. Igwe, <laughs> you um, My fellow elders, we all have heard what Ichi and Chikese have said. There's no room for much argument. 
Uh, but I want to come in just to save us the time and the stress. Ichi Echi Keze, we want to make certain things clear to you. That we, the elders and council, cannot go against the traditions and the culture of our land. Oh. The Igwe ship, as you may be aware, is not in your lineage. Oh. 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 But if you are not seeing the ambition of becoming the Igwe of this great kingdom, you have to make it known to Ajala Oracle. Bam! Thank you. If he approves it, that you become the Igwe of our kingdom, so be it. But if he does not approve of it, there's nothing we can do about it. My fellow elders, have I spoken your minds? You have spoken, you have spoken my own mind. This is not a matter of uh, spoken your mind or not. Let me tell you something. What has Ajala got to do with this thing? Let, let me tell you. Ajala or no Ajala, I must be the one of this community, this kingdom. So what, what you people should do is go home and get prepared. When I call you, you come and crown me the way. Simple. And I promise you I will make you happy for the rest of your life. Eh? You are looking for something that will kill you. Oh, yes. Ezioko. You are looking for something that will kill you. Hey, I put the chair. You can go Hey, I put the chair. I will remove you from my chair. I want to achieve one kita. I need a quick on easy and see. Do not toil with our tradition. Can go have that one. Say he. Because the cash I'm tired of hearing all yeah. this. Uh, 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 to surrender his throne to you. The throne of Aloma kingdom that belongs to my son, his own inheritance, he should surrender to you. Hey! This man ain't come to go. He's singing King Ejebu. Yes! So this is who you are. For opening your mouth to this one, that God sat on you to say this. You will never see good in this life. I'm not going to what is wrong with what I said? Eh? I am saying this for the sake of his life. Okay, let me ask you now. If your son Chigoze becomes the king of this community, this kingdom, and the whole kingdom gathered for him to address them, what will he be telling them? He doesn't know anything about leadership. He doesn't know anything about our tradition. Eh? See, this now, that boy is too small. He's too small to be the king of Aloma kingdom. Don't you understand? And I am saying this in for the sake of his life because I don't want the evil men in this community. To Shut kill him. up! Shut your nonsense! Shut it! Chigese, what evil man are you talking about? If there is evil man in this community, you are the one. 
Mwa. Yes, Mwa you are the evil man. Mwa evil man. Yes. You can't do anything to me. And you know. Because what is in me is bigger than what you have. Yes. And let me tell you. You cannot kill my son. As you cannot kill me, so you cannot kill my son. Because the spirit of his forefathers and of his late father are protecting him. They are guiding him. You can't do anything. So it is true. So what I've been hearing about you is true. You have been calling the meeting of the elders to support you take over the throne. Take over the inheritance of my own son. So it is true. But let me tell you the truth. The truth you, you, you refuse to know. Wake up. Wake up from your widest dream because that your dream can never come to pass. You can never succeed. It can never happen. Yes! Wake up! Wake up, Chikeze, and get out of my palace. Eh? I said you should get out! Ah, Chikeze, Ichie Chikeze, one of the worst uh, uh, guys will come next. I should get out of the palace. I said you should get out. Get out! Get out before I call you. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! It's okay. We shall see. Answers. Can you move away? Can you move away? Okay, okay. Can you move away? Can you move away? Get out! It's okay. No problem. Evil man! It's okay. Evil okay. man! Okay. Nonsense! You put a drink on me. You just think it's here. The Igwe to be. Who made the Igwe? No. Who will give you the Igwe? Who will give you the doubt? You don't know. Who will do you that? You don't know. I'm you are dreaming. You don't know. I said you are dreaming. I got my Igwe. You are the big man. I got my Get out! I will destroy you. Akukone, but look at you. Oni kukune bunde destroy no mado. Look at you, useless man, animal. Come and take over. No, come and take over the throne. Nonsense. Hey! Look at this, this useless man. Just look at you. Look at this useless man. You have the cost to come and tell me to come and tell me. Get out! You can't come out! Look at the son of your father! You can't maintain your father! You can't maintain your father! Can you cannot maintain and you want to contest for throne? Useless man! Useless generation! Idiot! Useless! Animal! Hey! Agua Wuru! Agua Wuru! Chika is Agua Wuru! You could not maintain your car, your body you could not maintain, and you want to contest for truth. Look at you, useless man. Useless man. Nonsense. Hey, Chikas, I go Wuru. I go Wuru, come and take over. Baby. Please come and sit. No, 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 no. I'm already late for lectures. Oh yes, that's true. It's your lecture time. Yeah. Do you need anything? Yes, babe. The money I asked you yesterday. Oh, that's true. How much do you need? About 6,000 naira. 6,000? Yeah. Use it and do anything you want. And in case you need more, don't hesitate to let me know. Okay? You can ask for six thousand naira. Give me ten thousand naira. Mm, use it now. Oh, thank you so much. Mm. What will I do without you, babe? It's okay. Stop it. I'm doing this because I love you. So I have afternoon lectures. I'll see you later at school, and I'll branch by the market to buy the stuff to make you. A sweet jello rice. Oh. I know you like it. Thank you you know you love already. jello rice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Um, Thank you so much. It's okay, my lady. Yeah. Let me rush. Please hurry so you don't be late. It's okay. Nigga. 
What is happening? I don't understand you anymore. How come you are always demanding for money these days? Is it not just last week that we sent you enough money that will almost take you half of the semester? Now you are here demanding for money. What is going on? Oh, oh, Papa. Papa, don't you know that university takes a lot of money? You will buy handouts. You will sort lecturers. I will even buy food stuff. And you know that food stuff is very costly in school. By the time I buy all these things, the money has finished now, Papa. Oh no, my she's is right, too. Things are very costly these days, eh? At least you know how much we spend in buying things in this house. Oh. Remember, oh. you promised her that anything that will make us proud in our education that you will do it. Lawyer! Me. Lawyer! I know you will support her because you are not the one bringing her the money. When are you going back to school? Papa, I have to go tomorrow because I have a quiz by 10 in the morning. I have to be there by tomorrow morning. Anyway, I'm going out. When I get back, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry. When you come back, I'm going to prepare your favorite meal. Yes, sir. Exactly. Let's go. Let's go and prepare the food before he comes back. Bigo, could it out of? Eh? How to see that your father is trying? Let's go. Always be by your side 